Hi, boys and girls. Today, I want to show you some things that I have at home that are pretty special. And as I show them to you, I want you to think about how they might be all the same. So the first thing I have is this little fan. And if you'll notice, it can open and close. I also have these little animals. I think you can tell, right? These are two rabbits. I have something else that actually hangs up. It's actually a bird called a crane, special bird. And if you look closely, I actually have a little crane that's very, very tiny. And maybe you can tell or guess that these are all made out of paper and they've been folded a special way to make them look like that. Now this special kind of paper folding is called origami. Origami started or originated in the country of Japan. And this country is on the other side of the world, over next to China and Korea. Japan, you'll see over here, is a string of islands. It's an island nation. Now, I'm lucky enough to have friends from there. And so when they have visited, sometimes they have left me with these great little paper foldings. Well, today I have a book to share with you about a young boy who learns about origami and what he does to become a master. Our book today is called Morigami. The author is Dory Cleaver, and the illustrations are by Brian Karras. Joey loved things that folded. He collected old road maps. He played the accordion. He slept in a fold-away bed. One day, Sarah Takamoto's mother came to school. She took a plain piece of paper, she folded it and flipped it and pulled it. until it became a crane. Joey's eyes popped. His jaw dropped. Mrs. Takamoto called it origami. I want to make origami, Joey told her. Will you teach me? I can show you the folds, she said. But if you want to be an origami master, you'll need practice and patience. Joey started that afternoon. He practiced on his notebook paper and on the construction paper from the art shelf. But even his simple shapes were crooked and crumpled. So, he practiced on his homework. And then on the newspaper and on his sister's sheet music. And he practiced on all the gift wrap and on the recipe for Aunt Vivian's pineapple surprise. And finally, on the $38 in mom's purse. This folding has to stop, said mom. Joey drooped. How would he ever become an origami master without practice?
He went next door to Muy Mexicana. Fajitas always made him feel better. Joey, Mr. Lopez sang, what's wrong? It takes practice and patience to be an origami master, Joey said. But whenever I practice, everybody else loses their patience. Many artists are misunderstood, amigo, said Mr. Lopez, especially when they are just learning. What's that? Mr. Lopez asked, pointing to Joey's napkin. A pyramid, said Joey. Sorry. No, don't apologize, Mr. Lopez said. I like it. It makes the table look fancy. Could you make more? Joey grinned. I could make a hundred. So, Joey folded and folded and folded until pyramids perched on every table in the restaurant. Every day after school, Joey went back to Muji Mexicana. He folded napkins into fans. He made candlesticks. Then he tried crowns. Some napkins toppled, others flopped, but Joey kept folding until they were perfect. Finally, he was ready to try the most difficult fold of all. He took a crisp napkin, he folded it, he flipped it, he pulled it. And it worked. He made a crane. At last, he was an origami master. Just then, a girl walked in. She was waving a paper fan. Her eyes popped, her jaw dropped. Did you make that? She asked. Joey nodded. I can show you how, said Joey, but I should warn you, it takes practice and lots of patience. And that's it for today's book, Moragami by Dory Cleaver. Now, believe it or not, you can go and look on YouTube and find people who can show you how to take a piece of paper and turn it into something fun, like a rabbit or a crane. Okay, that's it for now. Bye-bye.